Gun control paint came out of a need for me to find somebody to paint our bicycles to the standard that we needed to paint them. When I originally started the company, I went to France for three years and based myself in Montgenève, just on the um, Italian border. And everyone who's everyone in frame fabrication and custom bikes is along that road. What I found I couldn't really solve was the problem of delivering really high-end custom paint. And all of the people that were doing that at the time seemed to be here in the UK. Generally speaking, the customers are as passionate about bikes as we are. So they come with a really strong idea of what they want. Sometimes they don't know what color, they don't know what necessarily the idea might be that they want to convey via the bike, but they want something different and personalized and unique to them. We help to try and uncover what that might be. Often we'll start a Pinterest board or start talking about their interests outside of cycling, and that could be motorsport, it could be aviation, it could be the band that they loved when they were a kid. And we'll try and find some inspiration in that to then come up with something that's completely bespoke to them. I think businesses like ours um, only really exist because of the way people get excited about what we do. So when we produce really beautiful work and then take a great picture of it and share it here, we're in a barn in Surrey, very few people come to visit us, but we can share that with the world instantly. And sometimes these things just set fire. You put something out into the world and you, you think it's kind of cool, but then the response is one of the best parts of the job. Quite often, mainstream bike companies paint their bikes with electrostatic guns. It's a really fast process. They lay it on thick and then the paint is allowed to cure in a container on its way to us. And that's 30 days on the water, so much, for, much longer in the factory. Our process takes four to six weeks, and a lot of that is um, just hard work. We're, trying to, we're aiming to get a really flat and sand substrate to start with. Um, that allows the paint to sit really, really flat and stand up. Um, and then at each intermediate coat, we're aiming to apply, say, the base, and then flat that back so that any imperfections on that surface are completely gone before we start the next coat. Obviously, a paint, paint is a system, so all of those coats are then locking together chemically, but that hand process provides a mechanical key as well, which locks those surfaces together to make a much harder wearing, much nicer looking finish. What you're seeing here, this coating, is, uh, is a primer, which is applied to hide any manufacturing inclusions or any old damage that might have been on there that has been put right. On a new frame we use it to smooth out the surfaces so they're nice and even and it gives our paint something very nice and fresh to stick to. So sometimes a tricky design when you're peeling the last bit of mask off and it's been bugging you for days that could be the best bit where you, you pull, pull all of the paint mask off and you're left with what you're going to see at the end. That can be a big big part. Um, but other than that, it will be that final coat of clear that gets put on, like you, you guys saw earlier, we had lacquered that fork and you get that really nice shine. For me, that's, that's the, end, the end part. Uh, yeah, so that's definitely the favourite. I believe that British paint in the bike context is some of the best in the world. Um, I spent a huge amount of time touring Italy and visiting various paint shops and workshops to find the sorts of skills that I needed to finish our bikes right at the start of Spoon Customs, but I couldn't find anybody that could deliver the level of detail and finish that we were able to achieve today. And that seems to be something that is very unique to Britain at the moment. I think British manufacturing has always been regarded as some of the best in the world, and that hasn't changed, regardless of Brexit, regardless of COVID. What COVID and Brexit has done has made people look closer to home about what they can get near to them. Supply chains have broken down to some extent. People have started to think about supporting local businesses with a lot more care and less self-interest. And as a result, the phone's been ringing off the hook for people that want to support us as a local business. No, no end of local people have called and said, you know, I was going to buy this, but it's tough times. I figured I might put some money your way. And, and that's been really lovely. And that's a definite side effect of the situation. And that's something that's I hope going to remain and, and continue to be a positive impact on the site of business generally. Generally brands like Muckoff are those, now they've become halo brands that we look to as, you know, started in the shed and did good, hey? So from our point of view, we're five years in, we look to businesses like Muckoff for inspiration and actually when we're having a tough day, we can see what's possible in Britain and beyond from brands like Muckoff. And as far as their support goes in the industry, 
we get great products and great service from Muckoff and, and they, they seem to want to play their part in the success of our business, which is why we use their stuff. Everyone that we work with is passionate about what they do and they love cycling. When they bring us a project, they're really trusting us to bring their idea to life. Sometimes they don't know what that idea is and then you've got to help them understand that, you know, perhaps in that kernel of something they brought to you, there is a way of realising that on a bike frame and that's, that's a really fun process. Most of the customers we work with really understand that that process is quite long and involved and they want to be involved at every stage and we spend a lot of time talking to them about the finish and the techniques that we're using and the work that's going in and they really seem to enjoy that part of the process and I think that ultimately helps them value the product they take away at the end of the day. And um, They can see the effort that's gone in and the finish and the paint but they know what's behind it because they've been involved in the process from the very start to the very end.